joining me today so I have some update for you guys I Mustafa has gone to school yes he is a big boy now he has it's his first day of nursery by the way so it's only um, for one hour and it was really sad because he cried so much guys like I can't tell you how bad it was that when I entered the building with him straight away as soon as he saw the teacher's face he just went what like he, he wasn't happy basically and then the teacher goes sorry you can't come in um we're gonna keep him for an hour can you pick him up at 1 30 and i was like okay because i thought i was a i was i was gonna sit there in the classroom with him because obviously i did with asia and saber but because of covid and all of that sadly i had to leave him and then the teacher goes you know what it's best if you just get out and we will close the door and I had to just get out and I'd be like, bye Mustafa, and I just left. And he just screamed. Like, and then I saw through the window, two teachers had to drag him inside the actual classroom and close the doors. And I'm really sad about it. And then I called my husband just now. And he's like, botli. And he's really, really angry with me now. Because apparently Mustafa doesn't need to go into nursery. I don't know what to say and um, but you know what it's for the best guys isn't it tell me it's for the best right because this is how he's gonna learn he's gonna you know it's good for him he's good for his personal development his mental development everything and he'll pick up words as well because he's a really slow talker like um, I'm, I don't know if you guys know He's not really talking much. He's, he says the odd words, but he's not like forming sentences or anything. So I know nursery, inshallah, will help him. So anyways, I am a lonely mother at home. It feels really strange. I'm not going to lie. I have no kids whatsoever in the house. And that is like, that's never happened, by the way. And I don't know if I should cry or laugh out loud because I'm so happy. <laughs> but um, alhamdulillah. <laughs> I'm just, um, you know, I can't wait for it to be 1.30, not going to lie, and pick up Mustafa from school. But yes, anyways, um, I just did an unboxing PR on my Instagram. So I'm being productive and I've just taken off the bed sheets and I've put them in the wash. And I am now going to do up my bed. So yes, bye.
So this is my room tidy now, alhamdulillah. And guess what? It is quarter past one, which means I need to ASAP get out of the house and pick up Mustafa now. Great. Mustafa is back, guys. Oh, he's going somewhere else. Where did he go? Mommy. Mustafa is back from school. How was your day at school, Mustafa? You have to go back tomorrow, you know. Yes. Now we are waiting for Daddy to come and pick us up. Where is he? Let's have a look, Mustafa, your outfit. Oh my God, he's squatting. Ooh, <laughs> can you stand up? Can you stand? Oh wow, he's already got his sleeves. Bora, you guys. Bora, Oh wow. And he's got really cute light up shoes. Wow. <laughs> Did you have fun, Mustafa? Did you have fun at school today? Oh. <laughs> so apparently he stopped crying after a bit. As soon as he went outdoors, um, he loved it because there's like swing slides and stuff and a sand pit and things. So yeah, he absolutely loved it. You're a big boy now, aren't you? Yes. Yes. Right, so you guys, this is what's just come through the post. This is by an Instagram page called Maddie's Sweet Treats. They came really nice packaged, as you can see, and I've just opened it up and I've um, showed it off on my Instagram stories. And they are little cake popsicles, cake pops, whatever you want to call them. And these are really cute little teddy bear ones for like little kids and stuff. So this would be perfect for like Mother's Day or even during Ramadan to like gift to your loved one. I absolutely love these. How cute are they? And I cannot wait to make myself a cup of tea and to dig in. Right, you guys. So after school, we went into Asda and I picked up this beautiful cardigan. It is so lovely. It's so comfortable. It's got two pockets on each side. It's long length. It comes up to my calves really like it for um like you know this kind of weather um i've just put on a belt from my abaya but yeah oh it's really cute and it was 14 pounds by the way and i grabbed some grab some other stuff and i'll show you that right now so we are planning to get a kitten so i've gone ahead and bought some cat food and some cat litter uh, beforehand because just in case because I've told my brother-in-law to grab me a kitten Because um, he's got loads of contacts in in the area So hopefully he's gonna get me a cat in the next one week or two weeks I, don't, I really don't know but just in case he all of a sudden turns up with a little kitten I wanted to be ready with some food and some cat litter and I'm just gonna order online like a cat litter tray nice covered up tray and a nice bowl for the cat and we're so excited for the cat actually now yes and uh, we grabbed this for mustafa for his um school it's a really cute little toy story backpack um this was 12 pounds um i got a nice pretty luxury hand wash baileys and harding um for the bathroom uh, bananas and i got some school shoes for the girls because um they were wearing their trainers to school which is okay apparently but um their old shoes had gone small and i hate them wearing um trainers with their like blue and white um school dress and this these are just so cute um it was so difficult to find their sizes and we got these from asda um this was 13 pounds this asia's school shoes and she's a size 13 now and these were 14 pounds these are the sabers and these are size number 10 now yeah she's a 10 now i got loads of oat milk for mustafa and a ready brick so oh yeah so the reason why mustafa has oat milk is because i've realized he is definitely allergic to cow's milk goat's milk any kind of animal milk it just doesn't go well with him because his eczema flares up so with trial and error we found out oat milk is really good for him and yeah we just stick by it so anyone that has children that suffer from eczema try and see if it's something to do with their diet like what milk they're drinking these are the things that i've got from iceland 
Right, so we've got some crinkle cut chips and I've got a huge, huge bag and this was only £2, which is so good. We've got some southern fried wedges, I think these were £2. We got some sun bites, whole grain sweet chilli flavour, which we love. We got tiger thick slice, um, what are these? Blue Mar um, bread. Um, these look really nice, so I thought, you know, we'd try it. I've never tried these before. We've got some crumpets. We've got some Hellman's burger sauce. Um, strawberry trifles. Strawberry cheesecake. Some oranges. Here we have some pizza. Cheese and onion bake by Greg's. And we've got the vegetable bakes by Greg's as well. They look really, I've not tried the vegetable bake, so excited about that. And we also have Mr. Kipling's Viennese World, I love them. Potato waffles, cornetto ice cream, and these were free by the way. The mushrooms, they just, the lady goes to me, do you want to have some mushrooms for free? Or we're going to chuck it away, I'm like, yeah, go on then, add it to the bag, I'll just make something. So yes, and everything cost me about £22 or something, so it's super cheap. Um... We also got these, but the kids kind of got to it first. But yes. Hey guys, look what just came through the post. My Tefal Uno, um, what's it called? A deep fryer? Fat fryer? I don't know. So yeah, I ordered this off Amazon. My sister has the exact same one. And she gave me such a brilliant review on it that, you know what, I just couldn't help myself. She got it from Argos. And when I went onto the Argos website, there was none left in stock. So, I checked on Amazon and I found one. And it, this took about a whole, I think nearly two weeks to arrive to me. Let's take it out of the box. Okay. <laughs> So this is what it, it looks like. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Um, how do you open it? So you press this button and it opens up. And it's got instructions in it. It's got the little basket in it. As well. Okay. Okay, okay, so this is a 1kg, um, it's got 1kg capacity in it, so you could fry up to 1kg of food in here. How do I do this? Somebody is making Mustafa cry. Okay, so I've connected it, wasn't that difficult. in like that and you close it oh it's so pretty guys and then when you want it to drain you leave it like that so here's what the um deep fat fryer looks like it is um you can fry food for up to four people in this and you can also monitor your cooking with the large viewing window which i love what else it's got a on off switch button it's also got a adjustable thermostat so it goes all the way up to 190 degrees celsius and it goes down to 150. Um, it's got this draining position for less oil so if you can drain all the oil at the end of your cooking and yes i absolutely love this and i tried it out on my sister's in my sister's house and I really liked it and I'm, I can't wait to fry some food for the kids now. Mm -hmm. So you guys, we are testing out the chip fryer. We've put in some crinkle cut chips from Iceland. And this is what it looks like. Move back, Musiba, please. Thank you. This is what it looks like. I'll open it up and show you. And it's really nice and deep. I could put way more chips in there. But it's only for the girls, so you know, I'm not adding too much. 
Okay, so the chips are fried. It done it really, really fast, by the way. The job was done so fast. I am really pleased. What I'm doing is I'm just letting it all drain, all the oil, before I put it on the plate. Hey, my lovelies. I have another package here sent to me by... Where's the card? Here it is. This is sent to me by A Bite of Heaven on Instagram. Make sure you check this page out. They have sent me um, lovely chocolatey goodies. Um, my daughters have kind of got to it already. There was Ferrero Rocher's and Lindor little balls. And uh, yes, I'm so excited to have these. Um, not going to do me very good for my weight loss journey. But anyways, it doesn't matter. Um, yes, I'm going to enjoy these, by the way. Oh my god, they look so good. So here's something else I wanted to show you guys. This is by Little Wax Wonders on Instagram. They have kindly sent me some of their wax melts, which smell absolutely divine, by the way. This one is called the Coconut Waterfall Bloom. It is really exotic, this one. And then we have this one that I burnt this one yesterday burnt melted this one yesterday and this one is fresh linen and my house smelled so fresh i'm not gonna lie it was absolutely amazing um here is time to unwind and this one i really like it's really floral fl bleh, florally florally it's got a floral scent this one is bliss unstoppables so yeah make sure you guys check out little wax wonders as well on instagram thank you so much for this Right, you guys, I am in the middle of cooking and I am cooking a chicken curry for the kids and some kima for me and my husband. The kima is lamb, minced lamb, lamb, lamb minced meat. How do you say it, man? <laughs> minced Mince lamb. Yeah, minced lamb. That's it. Yeah, I'm such a pretty. But yeah. I'm going to cook the minced lamb nice and spicy for me and the husband and the chicken curry is going to be really mild for the kids. Sure, let's put in the turmeric first. so my cooking is almost done this is the chicken curry for the kids and here is the keema for us adults um, I'm just gonna cover it up and leave it to simmer on very very low heat and it's gonna be amazing and I'll put the rice on and everything should be ready in about 20 minutes 15 20 minutes yum yum
mom is here and she has brought amazing food. But this one, Seema got. What is it, Seema? Chicken pasta. Chicken pasta, which I'm gonna have later. Mum's got some endabidan and some. Endabidan, forgive me. Sorry, guys. Masbidan, I meant. And some sticky rice, which I absolutely love with masbidan. And here we have some fried snacks. So the top is what is it? Shingara. Shingaras. And at the bottom we have some night color fob, which means coconut samosas, basically. Oh. How is it? Let's see the inside. Oh my Shukhan. lord, lord. Wait, let me. Shukhan samosas. Wait, let me. Let me. Wait, stop moving it. Wait. Allow it. Wait. <laughs> okay. 